Hello, it's Mr Sheffield. Hi everyone, it's Miss Saw and welcome to your summer dip and do. Woo! Now, this is the time of year that we go off the formal curriculum and you've been doing tons and tons of work at home and we've designed a sequence of activities for you to be able to get yourself out and about or do some making things if it's a rainy day, experiment with photography or theatre or artwork. There's a ton of activities, a huge range. Now the work starts this week and it will continue for the six weeks of the summer holidays as well. Now the great thing is, is that you won't have to upload it to Purple Mash. We just want you to bring in all your creations at the beginning of term in September to share with your new teacher and your new class. So let's get started and share some of the wonderful things that your teachers have planned for you. Now, the activities behind us, you've got two pages where 12 activities all together. And like Mr. Sheffield said, they cover such a wide range. Some are inside, mm. some are outside, some you get to use your imagination, some you get to use your real creative skills. So Ms. let's Saul, kick off. What, what are your two favourites, you would say? If you, if you were doing this dip and do during the summer, what would you do? So I think out of all the 12 activities, two that I would do first, one is a photography one. And the question that goes with that one is, what does summer mean to you? Mm. Now for that task, you just have to think about something that you're gonna do over the six weeks, or think about something that reminds you of summer. It could be- when Ice you, cream. It could be ice cream. It could be going to the beach, um, putting your feet in the water. It could mm. be sitting in the garden on your sun lounger. It could be... Sand. Sky. It could be looking at the sky in the beautiful August sun. Whatever it is that you that captures summer for you... Flowers. Could be flowers. Oh, yes. We want you to capture it with a camera, take an image of it on your parents' phone, with a camera that you have, and then print it off and bring it in to share. And we're going to, when you come back to school, make a massive school montage mm. of all your summer snaps. Sounds fantastic. So that's one activity I do. Now the second activity I do, I think I want to try being a bit of a fashionista. Ooh. What we would like you to do is take a piece of clothing that you have, it could be a t-shirt, it could be, it could be, it could be, it could be, oh, it could be a shoe. And we <laughs> want you to style it up using the colours of our school so as you know Lindhurst our school colours are green and yellow mm -hmm. so we want you to think of how you could incorporate that into a piece of clothing that you can wear back on the first day of the new school can I year. Just stick this to your shoulder? Is that... Something like that. Okay, that's you fine. might decide to take a pair of shoes and take the laces out and get some ribbon and thread some green and yellow mm. Um, ribbon into your shoes. You might decide to take a t-shirt and maybe look at the school logo on the website and recreate your own. There you go. You might decide to do a bit of sewing and add maybe a little brooch or um, I don't you know. Also, you could also use safety pins to attach things to a t-shirt yeah. that you've already got. Think about different ways that you can attach things that we look at in DT mm. and add some, maybe some stripes um, to your garments. So be really imaginative, really creative and fashion focused and forward and wear your creations on the first mm. day back to really impress your teacher. Now, I am absolutely a huge fan of theatre. Miss Saw knows this. We've actually been to the theatre to watch some of my favourite plays, my favourite Shakespeare plays. And one of the theatres I love the most is the Unicorn Theatre. Now, some of you know this because we've been there as part of our learning. However, you haven't really been able to go there at the moment. But that's okay, because what the Unicorn Theatre have done is they've actually produced something called a Nancy the Spider, and they filmed it and put it online for you to watch at home. So you might want to set your uh, living room up like a theatre, chuck all the cushions on the floor, make the popcorn, laze around and watch as these absolutely fantastic actors sort this story out. I, it's just, I can't even describe the story. It is, it's, I'm not going to spoil it. You just have to watch it. It's fantastic. We think you're going to really enjoy it, children, and it's for a limited time only. So when you get your dip and do, please Absolutely. check to make sure that you've watched it in the time frame that um, it's available for. And talk to your parents about your memories of going to the Unicorn Theatre whilst you were at school before school closure, because all classes went. And I know you've seen some amazing mm. productions. 
And when you've finished watching Anansi and the Spider, think about some other African tales that you've read Ooh. as well. And maybe you can perform your own for your family. Take it to the next level. Absolutely. Oh, now the second one, I, I'm a massive fan of design. I love planning new things and I love making new things. So one of the activities is design your perfect playground. Wow. So this could be a model that you make. It could be a model out of paper mache. It could be an old cardboard box that you service or a shoe box or a, it could be made out of um, Lego. It could be made out of uh, straws or twigs. You could draw it on a piece of paper. You could map everything out. Uh, if you're feeling super confident, you might even find a 3D program to be able to model that on a computer. Now the children who have been in school have had an opportunity to go back to the reception play area mm. and engage with all the activities they did when they first started at Lindhurst. They've also been inside Mr Joyce's garden. So use those two areas, which I know are some of your favourites in the mm. school, to inspire you to think about how we can improve the main area of our playground. You could include seesaws and slides and climbing frames. You might include a paddling pool or a pond in a green area. You might want to have a nature reserve and a rock garden. You might even want to include an allotment where you could do some planting of vegetables. I know Mr Hamill's very keen on that kind of thing. And if you're feeling really creative, cost it up. I'm sure Mr Hamill mm. would love you to help him with the process and you never know. If him and Miss Novakoska are really impressed with your design, you could very well see it in the playground. Mm. So watch this space. Now, don't forget all of the flat space as well. What is going to get painted on the floor? Don't just leave it blank. You've got an absolute blank canvas to paint with whatever you would like. So those are my two activities, but there's actually tons more that I would love to do on there as well. We really hope that you start to enjoy those activities from next week, children, in your last week before school's out for the summer. Please do take lots of pictures of all the different processes and stages that you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, make sure that you design things and you have lots to bring in and share when you come back in September. Your it's teachers amazing. are really looking forward to seeing all that lovely work after the summer holidays. Thank you for all you have done while school has been closed and continue with this amazing summer learning. We hope you have lots of fun, you have lots of enjoyment and most of all, it brings a smile to you this summer. Bye for now everyone. Bye guys. Happy Remember, dip and doing. Be awesome.